What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another Jurassic World Evolution Challenge mode. And I apologize, guys, there is some flickering. I have tried so many different ways to try and fix it. I just cannot, for the life of me, get it to work. So if you guys know how to fix it, please let me know. But we are here. We are setting up some extra things because we have gone ahead and added some extra dudes to the park. We got a Metrocanthrosaurus, which I actually need to fix up, otherwise, he is going to riot and kill people. But we are also on the precipice of receiving the Indominus Rex as well as the T-Rex. So we're going to get those guys sorted today. I, I apologize about the flicking. I, there's really nothing I can do about it. As far as I'm aware, I've tried everything to try and fix this. So let's do that there. And we're going to need to make sure... Ooh. Need to make sure that we have gates on these. So let's drop a gate there, drop a gate there, drop a gate there and drop a gate just there okay so that's fixed they should reach the destination let's add this guy and this ranger team four is going to be in charge of the rex and the metrocanthus so we've put a metrocanthro up here let's just make sure he's got some prey first um yeah we've put a metrocanthro up here so that he can just live freely without having to worry about aloes eating him and that should make him comfortable yeah and everyone should be able to find a route to their uh, destinations. Yeah, and then up here, we've got the Giganotosaurus. He actually came out with a really sick color scheme. We changed his color, and yeah, it looks dope. So, he looks sick. I don't know what this flickering's from. It's driving me crazy. Um, and then we've got these guys still. I Honestly, these guys are one of my favorite dudes. They just look so cool. Honestly, I love them. You can see that we're at four and a half, just over. We're making one million buckaroonies a moment. We're going to increase our park rating. Uh, and this is at 2,000 appeal. So, like, we're making tons of money at the moment. And we've just got our expedition back from the final fossils that we need for the T-Rex. Which is why... No? Apparently not. Where's the T-Rex? Here it is. Did I not send someone out here already? I thought I did. Oh, we were waiting for the faster expeditions guy. That's why. Let's send you and... Oh, that's more than enough? No send you okay so that's going to be for the rex so our rex is pretty much good as got we need to increase our velociraptor genome up to the maximum capacity so let's get those researching at the same time while we wait i haven't incubated a t-rex yet because i've just been waiting uh for the hundred percent i thought might as well i also completely forgot to put food in with the trudon so they were actually starving at one point but they're all happy now and they're actually giving us a lot better than um than what they were before okay i see what the issue is i haven't put a gate here there we go all right that should be fixed let's get some emergency shelters because i'm assuming yeah we're going to need some up here Commencing asset transit. put that there asset uh guests we're going to go for some restrooms as well, because once again, same situation. They're going to need toilets up here. Confirming asset delivery. I'll drop that there. Probably going to need another emergency shelter here, so let's drop that there. Okay, that should be enough for the restrooms and whatnot. Let's come into anemones. Because, yeah, I can imagine they're going to want food and whatnot. I love building constraints. It's my favorite word. Building constraints. Okay, let's... There we go. We're going to just let that set up first and then we'll fix it up. We've got a water one which we need as well. Which can honestly just go there. Guests. Someone's disgruntled. That's fine. And then another anemone. And we'll chuck that. Oh. There. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to let those build up. We should have guests, yeah, 400 guests, overcrowded already. Let's uh, let's figure out what we want to do here to maximize our profits. 14, 15, 21, nice. 36. I think that's it. What about you? That war you hear? 
isn't a T-Rex, but a cheer for your dead. Oh, there we go. We got a million bucks. Hard work in completing that objective. Karaoke. Okay, maybe it is a T-Rex. Infotainment. 30,000. Shit, we have a storm warning. I just freaking built the storm shelter. Where the hell is it? There it is. This is why you are here. And there it is. There's that five star that we were looking for. Beautiful. Took us a little bit longer than I would have liked, but nonetheless, 4 hours and 26 minutes. I probably could have done it a lot quicker, to be honest, but we didn't. Well, that vehicle's going to get destroyed. I love how it dropped straight away. So, let's take a look here. We did just get the T-Rex fossils. No, we got the, where is our T-Rex? Is it still out there? Let's do this. Get that going. Did we? Is it still out there? I swear I keep sending these stupid Rex things out and they're not... Where is it? Do we, are we just not getting any fossils from it? Is that why? That's surely why. It just must be that I'm not actually getting any fossils from it. Which sucks. Because that's what I need for the Indominus Rex. Okay, they're all running into the emergency shelter. That's fine. I don't know. Yeah, this flickering's annoying. I apologize, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. Look at that. That's horrible. Um, we're trying to get... I'm going to be trying to get the Indominus Rex and the Indoraptor today. So I should be able to get it. And that's why we're still going with this episode. Because we did get five stars. Oh my god. Alright, the storm has passed. This flickering is something else. I'm going to try and restart it because this is ridiculous. I'll bring you guys back in a sec. Alrighty guys, we're back and we can finally research the Indominus Rex. It costs, you know, measly 10 million. I was expecting it to cost more. Uh, less, sorry, because it's on the, on the same line as the... Uh, as the Spino, and the Spino is only 5 million. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that's real heartbreaking. We've only got 10 million around. How much is going to cost to freaking make? So I'm waiting for our researcher to be free, our uh, thingy one. So that we don't have to pay the full price. The cheaper research. It says they're on a side. Why did I not see them? I don't know. Let's just uh, make sure all of these guys are low. And then I don't think they have any points. No, they don't have any extra points into them. How do I go about repairing that? Oh, it's under repair now. Okay, so we're back up to five stars. We're at 13 million. We need to send another MVU out here. I don't know why it's not coming up at the top of our hotbar, saying that they need to get repaired or whatever, but it's annoying nonetheless. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at these. I just want to make sure we're making a profit here because, yeah, some of this stuff hasn't been properly thingied. What do we want? We want oh, white and... Oh, ice cream parlor. Yes, please. A photo booth. Uh, selfie spot. Anything else we want that will increase it? No, nah, not really. All right, we've got a com thingy. What is it? Crypto system, which we can actually heal. So let's heal it up. Boom. Okay. So we've got the complete genome for the Rex. We have the complete genome for the Velociraptor. Actually, I'm not going to bother doing that just yet. Which is awesome news for us. So let's go ahead and get the Carchodontosaurus. Oh, let's not get the Carchodontosaurus. He's a costly 2 million. I will send you and you out. But now that we've got a complete genome for the Rex, let's get it. Let's do it. Here we go. Where is it? Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm going to modify its genome here. gonna drop that down and we're gonna drop that down 1.2 million save and exit I'm not gonna do that just yet because what I want to do is come into research first and we are gonna go into here and we are gonna research the Indominus Rex <sighs> oh baby let's do that we need lots of this stuff lots of that stuff perfect so negative 30% uh, cost and 20% duration. So how much is that actually costing us? I didn't see, but it didn't cost us 10 million, thankfully. So we still have a pretty decent amount of 6 million, 7 million left, which is actually pretty solid. All right, they're healing that. There's apparently another dino that has the virus. Oh, you've got it as well. All right. These guys are going to have to make a bit of a drive up the top here to our Metrocanthus. To heal him. Alright, let's take a look here. I don't think we need any more anemones up here. 
No, honestly, I'm happy with that. We need more down here, but I... Uh, I don't really know if it's worth it. We already are at five stars, so all we're really trying to do now is get the Indominus and the Indoraptor. So I'm not really too fussed about making some money here. I will, however, upgrade these. Because there are guests walking through. Alright, beautiful. Let's do this. Fill up, fill up. Okay. We've got a... What's this research? Is that the... That's the, the Indominus Rex. So let's get that sorted. We're going to come into here. View scientists. And we're going to rest you. And we're also going to rest you real quick. I can recruit more of them. And we did get some more fossils. Oofed. Quite a lot of cash money. Which is actually really good. Because we need that. Let's go. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure I can recruit more scientists. No, I can't. Did I not put the upgrades on the science center? Scientist capacity. Still sitting at five stars. Beautiful. Uh, have a world where the dinosaurs can coexist with humans. Incubate three coleosophists at once. That's actually super easy and I can get a million bucks for it. So let's do that. Coleo, coleo, coleo. Boom. Except I don't have any scientists. That's fine. Okay. We just got to wait for the hybrids to finish. And then we're good for the Indominus Rex. And then I think the Indoraptor is probably is going to be super expensive. So we're going to have to save some money for that. But that honestly shouldn't be too hard. If I can get some guests here. Ice cream machine. Ice cream parlor. Anything else? That'll do. Uh, flavored lattes, no, slushies, kefir, infotainment, 17, let's go with the phone booth, infotainment, I think that's it, did I build anything else, no, that's it there, okay, our park's all healthy, that's looking good, we've got these guys ready to go, let's synthesize some colios, they need four, so we'll just do those, do I have any fossils being looked at? No. Carchodontosaurus, we want to look at him. Get that going as well, just while we wait. Because we need that research. Alright, beautiful. Hybrid is unlocked. Now we just have to find him. Oh, we got the complete genome already, so we don't need to worry about that. Beautiful. And then once we synthesize, incubate, and release the following dinosaur, we'll then get access... To the freaking Indoraptor. Let's go. Alright, synthesized dino. Where is he? Where is this guy? Am I blind? There he is. I'm like, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. 1.25 million to uh, synthesize. Not that bad. Yukon River, Mangrove Forest. Let's go with the Mangrove Forest because it's going to look terrifying. Drop the sickly. Drop the intolerant all the way down. Combat, we can make him a lot stronger. Humble and needy. And we'll make him a little bit more social. 1.7 million to thingy him, which isn't actually too much because we'll have the cheaper synthesis. Boom. Let's go. Let's do it. We're going to incubate three of these guys and then probably just leave them in there. I don't think we'll do anything with them. Yep, and then leave that in there. Oh, I'm excited. All right, so we're making quite a lot of money anyway. 622,000 per minute. I don't know where they keep saying they can't find a route to its destination. They've got gates. So I've got one pen. I was going to save it for the T-Rex, but I might just use it for the Indominus Rex. Yeah, he's fine. Metrocanthus is fine. And then if I come over here, we could probably use this area up here for the... Um, for the Indoraptor and just use this entire... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Let's go like this, go like this, go like this, and just get rid of all of that. Beautiful. Attractions. We're going to go with one. Two. And then we can go... And that, that extra money is going to help us actually massively with... Getting the Indoraptor, because I can assume it's going to cost like 20 million or something. people and cat people. And then, there's a raptor person. Me. Does that make me special? Probably. Anyway, 
You can learn a lot from me, like how to deal with your latest objective success. And we're going to make this. It's not anything fancy because I'm still just um, waiting for sandbox mode to actually do all of this stuff. But I think for now that'll do. Alright, let's get some power running up here. Okay, so we have everything we need for the Indominus Rex and the Indoraptor. Let's take a look in here. All right, Indominus Rex, I'm guessing, yeah, we only get one egg. Oh, he's got aggressive. I mean, honestly, that's fine. I wasn't expecting it to get that. Cheaper incubation, boom. I don't know if we're going to have enough. Boom, boom. Yeah, we don't have enough. Okay. We need someone with... Very high wealth. Is it welfare to incubate the eggs? I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is in welfare. So we I just saw a scientist in there with what, 12? Eight welfare. So that actually should get us over the edge. Is there anything else? Five, eight. Yeah, let's get you. Confirm. All right, that should be everything we need for this guy. Let's get him ready to go. I can't just discard the, the thingies. All right, assign scientists. You. Cheaper incubation. The only reason we can't do it is because of the cheaper incubation. And you. Boom. Let's go. 1.7 million to get an Indominus Rex. He's going to take 10 minutes. I'm not getting any fossils, but uh, while we wait that 10 minutes, let's get some more Carchodontosauruses. I might as well. I'm just waiting here for him. Okay, I feel like I, I probably should try and incubate a Rex, but I don't think we need to anymore because I'm just going to use that for the... Indominus Rex, and then that should be enough space for the Indoraptor. I would say so, right? I mean, we could probably extend it out a little bit. But I think that'll be okay. I'm excited to see both of them, to be honest. So, I'll bring you guys back. I don't know how much his research is going to cost. We don't really get to find out until we release the Indominus Rex. So, we're just going to wait it out. We're going to wait 10 minutes or, well, 8 minutes and 30 seconds for the Indominus Rex. And we'll bring you guys back when that happens. Alrighty guys, and the time has come! Boom, here he is, released via airlift. I am very excited. I have not even got any upgraded fences, which is, this is probably going to be a horrible, horrible disaster. Because I am just imagining that he's going to break free now. Like, completely break free. It's the little things that keep the big things that uh, whatever, this go that. Objective falls squarely into that category. I don't really care about that, but here we go. This is, uh, this is going to be intense. I'm not sure... How this is going to go. I'm actually kind of interested to see what the characters say about it. So let's just get rid of all of this first. Hybrids 2 is available. Let's take a look at this as well. We already have a dead dinosaur. Oof! 15... I mean, we're not actually that far off it. Where's our dead dinosaur? Hold on. Oh, died of old age. Okay, hold on. Let's come down here. Let's get rid of the map. Yeah, I figured that would be the case soon. I'm glad we got five stars before that started happening, but I could always just replace that pen anyway. All right, here it comes. The Indominus Rex. Oh, look at it in all its glory. It's coming. I'd be lying if I wasn't a little bit worried about what's to come from this, because I haven't even upgraded any of the fences, and I feel like it's more than likely going to be able to break out. I put it in a terrible spot, right next to the fence. It's only got a, our fences are only two star. This guy needs six star security. I'm gonna just get him to stay and do a uh, scan on the Indominus. Here he comes! Oh my god! Oh, hello, big fella. What can I say? The Indominus Rex remains my most inspired creation. Nature can create a dinosaur, but only I can bring an Indominus Rex to life. To do so required a tremendous amount of research, gene mixing, splicing and manipulation, and, of course, determination. The end result is a hybrid dinosaur that is both beautiful and deadly. An alpha predator among alpha predators. 
So treat it with the care and respect it deserves. All right. Well, that's what Henry Wu had to say about it. I am super excited to see how this guy goes. He is terrifying. But I'm just glad that we now have access to him in creative mode, in sandbox mode. So let's get him sorted out first. So he needs a bit of forest. He's obviously going to be uh, running around and stuff like that. Let's get the forest up and running for him. And he should get some thingy going. And then we'll put some water in here for him as well. Just some puddles here and there. Uh, and then we're going to need prey for him. I fully expect this guy to bust out, especially because he's got the aggressive trait as well. I'm going to give him three hat, three thingies. And I'm going to put a little bit more forest over here. Alright. Oh my god, look at him in all his glory. He looks terrifying. Let's watch him walk around for a bit. Oh, that is... That, that is... Oh, man, that is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna, I need a screenshot of this. He is honestly terrifying, but he's so awesome. I love him. He's so cool. I love the Indominus Rex. He's so badass. Look at that. In all his bloody glory. You better get out of there, car. Oh, look at him run. What's he going for? Is he going for the goat? I hate it when it does that. Yeah, he's got the goat. Oh, he's got the goat. Let's take a look. Can I... I can't get any closer. Hold on. I got an idea. Let's do this. This should allow me to get nice and close. No? Are you fucking kidding me? You still can't actually get in there with the capture mode? Like, what is the boundary on trees? That's so dumb. He's got the goat in his mouth. I wanted to get a closer look at him. He's already swallowed it. That's so dumb, the boundary on trees. Oh, man. All right. Well, hopefully, he's still saying he's missing forest, but he, I think he's still expanding his territory. Yeah, so he should be happy now. Oh, my God. He's terrifying, but he's so cool. Dude, get out of there. He's gone for the other goat. He's gone for the other goat. He is glorious. All right, he's still not happy with the amount of forest he's got. I might have to put some more in. I don't want... I definitely do not want this guy getting angry. We definitely do not want the Indominus Rex getting angry. So let's just put some more forest in for him. And yeah, now he's 100% happy. He's so cool. I love him. He's just scoffed down all three goats. That's so cool. All right, so I wonder what our appeal is doing for us. But we need to get the Indoraptor, which is next. So, we're going to have to try and get him as well. Oh, shit. Okay, he just changed colors. What the hell? He literally... I mean, I know the Indominus Rex has like a bunch of different uh, species in him. But yeah, he just changed colors. He was like a green and now he's red. I just noticed that. Oh, please don't try and break out, dude. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's having a nap. He was he was green and he's just gone red. So that's actually dope. I'm just been I've just been taking screenshots of him. I'm not even gonna lie. I've just been taking screenshots of him because he just look at him. Look at this dude, he's awesome. I love him. Alright, we're gonna play this out for a little bit and we're gonna try and get to 15 mil, which we just hit. I just wanna try and get the Indoraptor. I'm hoping that this guy stays chill up here. But let's try and get the Indoraptor as well. We now have enough money to do it. I just don't know if I have enough... ...staff to do it, to be honest. I don't know how much we actually need. I'm just trying to grab all the guys that have the most. Okay. Jesus Christ, 27 welfare! How the freak are we gonna get that? I might have to just pay the full amount. But even then, I still don't have enough. Alright. We're gonna need to research, recruit some new scientists. Uh, is it welfare or genetics? I can't remember. We need the heart, the life one. So welfare. We need someone with like ridiculously high amounts of welfare. Six out of eight. Actually, let's let's recruit you. Because what we can do is I've just realized if I come out into infrastructure, I can Yeah, get scientists training to level five, which should increase our hopefully our thingy. So let's go cheaper research. Does that stack? 
I don't think it does. Oh yeah, it does. 50%. Nice. Uh, welfare specialist, but I don't know if I can actually... Yes, just. Alright. So that did stack. We're going to get that. We're going to try and get the Indoraptor, but we'll see how we go. Luckily, the Indominus Rex is just chilling. He doesn't seem to be wanting to escape, which is good because we don't really have the greatest amount of defenses for the... For the fence. Look at that. He's green now. That's sick. So when he walks out of the forest, he'll change to red. I want to watch this. Yeah. Oh my God. That transition was so cool. From him changing to like green to red from the being in the forest. I don't know how else, what other colors he would change to, but that was honestly so cool. That was sick. I loved that. He's already got an infamy level of three. Hold on, I wanted to watch him change again. The poor goats. I feel bad for him. I wish I could change the time of day. I wish there was a button to change and cycle the day, because like it's so dark and I can't see him. There you go, he's, he's back to red again. That's so cool. Alright, we're just going to um, wait for it to hopefully come along soon, and then hopefully we can get it going. Alrighty guys, we have successfully managed to be able to research the Indoraptor genome. I've also got cheaper research times 2 on it. So it's going to be 50% cheaper, so it's only going to be like 7 mil and the duration as well. So 9 minutes 43 seconds and about 7 million. We're going to let that simmer for a little bit. And I will bring you guys back when it is ready to be released. I am very excited to see what the Indoraptor has to, hold for, has to show us. Alrighty guys, here it is in all its glory. We have the Indoraptor ready to get synthesized. So I'm going to pop that down and we're going to get that going. I don't really care about our staff being disgruntled. It's going to take a little bit to do, but uh, it shouldn't take too long. So we're going to get that going and I'll bring you guys back in a sec. Alrighty guys, here it is. The Indoraptor is finally ready to be released. Let's bring it up the top here. Someone's broken free. I don't know who. I'm assuming it's the aloe down the bottom here. Oh man, this park has just kind of gone into the uh, into the bad zones. We got an aloe free because it's bloody freaking out because it's got hypothermia from a damn storm. Is that a capture team? No, that's the transport team. So I need to get that freaking sorted out. Oh my god, there's just so much going on. I, and this guy just escaped as well and I just got him bloody healed up and everything. And he's gone and bloody done it again. The damn bastard. Alright, let's just fix this up real quick. And then once that's done, we can then play that out. Alright. There we go. So they're carrying the Indoraptor. There it is there. It's a lot smaller than the Indominus Rex, obviously. Because it's, you know, it's a raptor. So. We've got a disease contracted. Who's got the disease? What is going on? you got hypothermia. You've got hypothermia, unless it's just the aloe that's got rabies. Yeah, okay, the, ra the, the thing he has rabies. Hold on one second. Direct control here. Aim mode. I think I need to take a photo. To unlock the rabies research. Yeah, there it is. Research available. Let's get this going for it. And then I'm just going to let it sleep there for a bit. Alright. Hold on. We need to come up the top here to where our Indoraptor is going. Where is he? We haven't dropped him down yet. We should see the helicopter come over the mountainside. I'm hoping. Let's speed it up here. Finally, it's all come down to this. Getting the Indoraptor. There it is over there. Alrighty, guys. Here it comes. The Indoraptor is dropping in live. Let's get it. Come on. I love how, like... Ragdoll they are. Oh my god. The this is a dinosaur created with the purpose. It can even see in the dark and uses echolocation to find its prey. Now, it's terrifying. Nature might eventually have created the Indoraptor, but I got there first. This guy is terrifying. Is dangerous? Yes. I love the Indoraptor. But then so is science. Give it some water. Make sure it's happy. It does have a very small ch uh, area at the moment, but it does have a huge pen. It needs some rock. I don't want to make this guy angry, though. That's the other thing. We definitely don't want the Indoraptor getting angry. 
because otherwise it's uh it's not gonna it's gonna come back to bite us in the butt all right it's got water and it looks like it might need a bit more water maybe I'm hoping that it just needs water and rock. It doesn't need any other coverage or anything like that. I'm hoping that it expands its territory a bit more. Which I think it, sh it will. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. I don't know if... Oh, <laughs> oh the poor goat! <laughs> that was savage. He looks sick. I love the Indoraptor. He looks really cool. I don't know if he's going to change colors like the Indominus, though. Here we go. He's going for, for the other goat. Let's watch him tear it apart. Please don't go in the forest, goat. Why are you do this to me for? It's going to slingshot out, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, savage. I can't get in there. It's freaking so frustrating, the fact that you can't get in there. Look at that. The poor goat. The fear in the goat's eyes. Oh, savage. Look at that. It's really annoying that we can't get down in there properly, though. Like, honestly... So, I mean, at least we've got the Indoraptor, which is great. It says it's still missing open space. It's just killed the goats. It hasn't even eaten them. It's just killed them. Its area is small, but, like, it just needs to walk around for a bit more. So, that's the Indoraptor. That's the Indominus Rex. That's everything we wanted to get. So, guys, that's going to wrap the episode up here today. I'm super happy we got the Indominus Rex and the Indoraptor, finally. After finishing this park, we have both of them. Where is he? Is this the Indorex? This is the Indominus Rex. There he is. Oh, he's sick. That's right. He's got hypothermia. So he could possibly die. Which is kind of funny because he's the Indominus Rex, which means he's like spliced with everything. So he shouldn't get hypothermia, technically. But, uh... Oh, wait. Can we cure hypothermia? Oh, you can. You can cure hypothermia. I didn't realize. We got a dead dinosaur. I didn't realize we could cure hypothermia. Trued on staff to death. Wonderful. Alrighty, guys. Well... Let's, uh, we're going to cure the poor Indominus Rex, but, uh, I'm super happy with how these guys look. I love them. They look so cool. I'm keen to see their animations and fighting and stuff, but we'll be doing that in sandbox mode. So guys, this is going to wrap the episode up here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.